back to Finny Blips. In this video, we're going to take you through the itinerary and finances of our trip from Southern California to Las Vegas, Nevada in a 2019 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. This was our plan. We booked our first night at New York, New York to stay at their newly redesigned rooms and another night at Delano. We wanted to try some Asian cuisines this trip, so we made our reservations for Best Friend by Roy Choi, planned to go to 888 Japanese Barbecue, and ended up going to Jenga, Sushi, and Steak. In between our meals, we wanted to walk it off by exploring the Fashion Mall, Area 15, and the newly built Hotel and Casino, Resort World. Here are some tips for beginner EV travelers, and some tips for beginner Vegas travelers. Alright, so we packed our luggages and snacks, and set off to Vegas from Southern California. There are multiple superchargers on the way from Southern California, as well as general EV chargers. Our first supercharging stop was Eddie World in Yermo, California. This is my go-to place to stop when I visit Vegas because they have multiple clean toilets and many selections of snacks. This place has over 10 superchargers, 3 charge point chargers, and is the largest gas station in California apparently. This stop cost us $14.43 for 39 kilowatts. Alright, battery full and we're off to our next stop, which is Prim, Nevada. There's not much to see to and from Vegas since it's basically just desert. So this is where autopilot shines because with all that driving and no sightseeing, the average person would feel bored, tired, and sleepy. However, with autopilot, it kind of feels like you're teleporting from point A to point, oh look, we're here. In our opinion, this stop isn't as exciting as Eddie World because its surroundings were just a hotel, gas station, a nearly abandoned mall, and a McDonald's. There were a lot of chargers and a lot of space though. This stop cost us $9.10 for 35 kilowatt hours. Once the battery was stopped off, we headed to Vegas. The total time this took was about 5 hours, including charging. When we arrived, it was already nighttime and we were very hungry. So it was a perfect time to eat 888 all you can eat Japanese barbecue. This spot is very popular and has a stunning 4.8 stars on Yelp with 3.7 thousand reviews. And it really does live up to its stars. These are the menu prices. And tonight we got the Kobe menu, which has all of their premium meats. For appetizers, we got the salmon and beef carpaccio. For barbecue, of course we had to get the Kobe beef, Kobe beef belly, Kobe fatty rib, and the marinated prime calbi. These items are limited to one order per person, but it was so worth it. Other items we got were the tiger sushi roll, lemon salmon roll, spicy crunch garlic ramen. Overall, this dinner was a 5 out of 5 stars. After dinner, we headed to New York, New York. Parking is $18 a day, even if you're staying at the MGM property. You can get free parking by being a pearl or higher tier for MGM rewards, which is the second lowest tier after Sapphire. You can get that by either spending a bunch on MGM properties, gambling a bunch on MGM properties, or applying and getting approved to their MGM credit card, which automatically bumps you up to pearl. We're excited to get to our room since we haven't been to New York, New York's redesigned rooms. Unfortunately, the first room we got was not clean, so we asked for another room. The person at the front desk gave me $50 dining credit and another room, and this is how the new room looks like. We stayed at the Soho 2 Queen room. It is 350 square feet that fits two queen size beds. MGM's regular checkout is at 11 a.m. So we got up around 10 to use our dining credits. When we exited the tower, we were greeted with a bunch of restaurants, including a wall of dry aged meats. We headed over to 48th and Crepe and got a bacon egg, sausage egg, and chocolate banana crepe. Then bought an oat milk, shaken espresso, and dragon fruit refresher at Starbucks. In total, we spent $47.84, which means our breakfast was complimentary, thanks to the last minute dining credits New York, New York gave us. Overall, we give New York, New York a 3.5 out of 5. In our opinion, slightly better because of the cool redesign and courteous front desk. Now off to start our day. First thing we had planned was to explore the fashion mall at the northern end of the strip. Parking is free and valet is $11. They happen to have free EV chargers in front of the entrance, so I parked there and charged up while exploring. We got a watermelon green crush and a brown sugar matcha from Capital One Cafe. If you use your Capital One card to purchase a drink at Capital One Cafe, you get 50% off your order in any location. Pretty cool perk. They also have complimentary souvenirs, so of course we snagged some. Once we were done exploring the mall, we headed to Delano for check-in. We booked the two-bedroom suite with stadium view, and this is by far our favorite MGM hotel. It is 725 square feet with two queen beds. 
It really feels like a mini apartment with a separated living space and bedroom. But the most important part is there are two toilets. Overall, we give Delano a 5 out of 5. This room is probably one of the better rooms you can get at an MGM property. The ground floor is quiet because it doesn't have a restaurant and casino, but it's right next to Mandalay Bay if you want to eat or gamble. We then drove to our reservation at Best Friends at Park MGM. Using PlugShare, we found that there were chargers there too. Four of them. Charging is free too. We parked, charged, and rushed over to our reservation. Best Friends serves family-style Korean-Mexican fusion cuisine. Just like everything on the strip, expect to pay more than average. We got a kimchi carbonara, Korean wings, and a side of their homemade kimchi. Everything was delicious. In total, dinner was $49.85. Delano was generous enough to offer $50 dining credit along with our hotel reservations and used it to pay for our dinner, which means it was complimentary. We just had to pay for tip. We headed on over to Resort World. Parking is $10 flat, or if you want to walk a bit, for free. Encore has parking across the street, which is what we did. I also decided to charge my car since they had their own EV chargers, Gold Leaf. However, this charge is not free. I paid about $6 for 1.5 hours. Resort World was average and has the shops and restaurants you usually see in any other hotel on the strip. Except they have this cool looking sphere when you enter the hotel. We mainly wanted to check out their famous food center where they have signature eastern and western street foods all in one spot. They have clay pot rice, pho, peking duck, Hainan chicken rice, and more. Since we were already full, we got the tiger sugar boba milk tea as a dessert. It was pretty solid, just very sweet and kind of overpriced. Almost $8 for their small size too. 3.5 stars. After walking around and digesting all the food we ate earlier, we decided to head back to our hotel room. While driving back though, I couldn't help but want to check out that new massive sphere they recently built just outside the strip. So I drove towards that direction and was met with massive traffic a block before the sphere. Can you guess what caused the traffic? That's right. It was people parking on a no park zone to take a look at the sphere. It basically was just one guy parking there, then every other car passing by, parking in front of him with the mindset that they can't arrest them all. Anyways, if you see this, just drive a bit further and take a ride on the closest available street, where there will be a vast amount of legal street parking. The sphere looked like what you expect it to look like, it's just a massive glowing ball on the outside. They switch to different designs every few days and have themes according to what events are happening in Vegas. For example, it's nighttime, so they have a moon design, but in the daytime, the sphere was massive basketball since we went during NBA Summer League week. For lunch, we decided to try out Jenga steak and sushi, mainly because we wanted to try out their sushi slider platter, but it's additional. We got their all-you-can-eat lunch for $26.95, but they also offer hibachi if you're interested. Honest opinion, I think this spot is alright, but I personally appreciate that they have the option for no rice sushi. 3 out of 5 stars. Once our cravings were satisfied, we wanted to check out Area 15. It's free to enter except for Fridays and Saturdays after 9pm if you're 21 and over, and you pay for whatever experiences you want to do. Area 15 is an immersive art experience that has a lot of cool installations, retails, and shops like Omega Mart by Meow Wolf, bars, experiences like axe throwing, golfing, arcade, and zipline. We treated ourselves to a drink and headed straight to the arcade machines to play Super Mario. Right next to the arcade machines, there was a VR art installation where people use their phones to interact with. We then took a look at all the shops they had, and we toured a bit more and found this little easter egg while taking a sip of water at one of their fountains. It was a QR code that led to a secret menu. But definitely check out Area 15 because there's so much to do there. This place was a cool experience. We give it a 5 out of 5. It wasn't until after we left Vegas that we saw that the attraction maze and speakeasy inside the market, but maybe next time. After Area 15, we headed home back to SoCal. This whole trip cost us about $422.19 for two people. The hotel stays were complimentary, but there was no way around the resort fee of about $45 a night. This includes Wi-Fi, calls, boarding pass printing, and fitness center access. We did spend about $338 on food, but had $100 worth of resort credits, so it came down to $238. We spent $53 on charging, $36 on parking for two nights, and $5 for arcade tokens at Area 15. Overall, this was a really nice getaway. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot to our new channel. Let us know what you guys think about this new segment and what trips we should take next. Thanks for watching Vinny Blips. See you in our next video.